Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem forty-eight in Chapter Eleven. Chapter Eleven is about angular momentum. You can see, with its uniform sticks, and then the length is given, mass is given, and then we have a small bullet. The mass is given. The the bullet just、uh, hit this、uh, stick, and then the initial velocity and the final velocity is given. We need to find the angular velocity, the stick. After the collisions, so for these problems, we can see there is no external force acting on the system, and then the net torque is zero, right? So that means the angular momentum is conserved. For angular momentum is conserved, so we can find the initial angular momentum. We find this is a rotation axis. So the initial angular momentum is a small m. R P right? The R is the L divided by four because this total length is L. And then this is a half and a half, so L divided by four times P m initial velocity v naught, and then plus the final angular momentum should include two parts. First part from the bullet, the bullet still we have the R P, the R is still L divided by four, the P is m times the final velocity plus the I omega, I omega I is the momentum of inertia times omega. Now we can find the I. Capital M, the sticks is.、Uh, you check your test book. Is if the sticks and momentum of inertia at the center of mass is one over twelve m l square. Now we input. We do the calculation for this one. We find the omega equal to this one, right? From this equation, very easily you can get the omega, and then input the I m inside. You get the omega in this equation, and you can see the small m capital M. L V not V F are given, so you get the final answer there. Thank you.